archive. Uh, I have a previous design where, well, this is just an example. It was not actually the pistons, but but had a crank like this in the crankshaft. It'd be here, and it would, had a conducting rod that would pull this up and down. That design had some problems because it would side load. Because since it's out here, what had a general push that way, that would increase friction. I could never get that engine to work. I had two pistons. And it would never really work right. This one design came based off of looking at um, a my Chematics textbook had an example problem where it had this kind of crank. It didn't have a piston, it just had something that moved. Up and down that was single, it did not bend. And I figured that would be a better de double acting. I wanted a some sort of piston where it was all on one shaft. But, however, you'd still need to lubricate it. I made a vacuum engine to test out the design and see if I could actually get it work effectively as an engine. It took a while. I uh, had to get the valving was the major problem. The valve, I tried several valves, but the last one came where I had to breathe through this hole. This is the intake for the vacuum. It goes out to here, these, this is actually the valve, the valving passage. But hole, but it goes down, the hose reveals, and that gives, oops. Another valve design similar to, I guess, a steam engine where the, Something like this, that were, well, this is a little short, but this would move up there, but it caused too much drag and slowed down the engine where it wouldn't, I couldn't get enough speed out of it to keep going, because since I only have one piston, it has, um, has to have so much fermentum to, get, to carry itself through the dead, top dead centers. So... I think I described it. And also I made, instead of making the piston just this wide, I made it too wide. Here's a more of a, where the piston is revealed.